What's up, everybody? This is Dominic back to talk about today's General Hospital episode. Today's episode was honestly kind of draggy in a way. Some parts were kind of draggy. But anyway, kind of dragged in a way. <clears throat> but anyway, um, let's get right into it. Today's episode, Maxi went in to um get whatever it's called when you become a surrogate. Or get on um, Lulu and Dante's sperm. His Dante's sperm and Lulu's combined egg into her body so they can basically make her pregnant. But anyway, uh, it was good to see Mac there today. Um, and when Alexis walked in with something like, it's, some, it's kind of like a prenuptial, prenuptial agreement that, I think it was something like, so Maxie wouldn't um, bag out of the deal and wouldn't try to keep the baby. I think it was something like that. But anyway, um, but yeah, she bought some papers, some legal papers and they all checked over and whatnot. And it was good to see Mac and Alexis and scenes again. I was one of the very few that actually liked Mac and Alexis together. I was a big I, I was a fan when they would they put they paired Mac and Alexis together. Um I liked that pairing but it was good to see them in a scene together. Anyway, um so apparently um Lou's pregnant. Well well not Lulu the, um um what's her name? Maxie was about to get pregnant. And also Kristen Kirsten Stones was looking good today in a way. She was, which what she had on before she put on like the doctor, um, with the patients, um, I can't remember what those things are called, but what you wear when you go to the hospital. She was looking good today. I know it's kind of shallow, but Christian Storms was looking, she was looking very, she was looking hot today, in my opinion. Anyway, um, but apparently Olivia is still seeing these visions of dogs. What is that? I, I still have yet to connect the dots of what all of these visions mean mean what does it mean about her seeing all these seeing visions of dogs i don't know what that means but anyway um sunny and carly um i wasn't really here for sunny and carly scenes today because I, I already knew they were just basically gonna bash aj and sunny was telling carly about the whole thing about aj setting him up and whatnot and about his whole plan is just basically let aj self-destruct on his own that he was gonna stay out of it let aj self-destruct on his own self-destruct on his own the scenes I really, but the scenes I really liked today were the Mac, not the, not the Mac, but the um, the AJ and Michael scenes. I love those scenes. That those were the, actually to me the best scenes. Out, well, not really, well, some of the best scenes out of today's episode. AJ was telling Michael that yeah, he did. He admitted that he did set Sonny up, but he did it to show Michael that Sonny really is violent. But Michael, I mean, Michael knows Sonny's violent. He knows he's violent, but AJ was just trying to show Michael that Sonny is violent. And then Michael basically, first Michael was just basically, he turns it back on AJ, and, um, but AJ explained himself, explained why he did it, but he actually said he is trying to change, and um, Michael's going to give him another chance, but he, Michael also told him that you can't try to come between me and my parent, come, come between him, Carly, and Sonny, but he is going to try to get to know him, which is as he should. Anyway, um, those are some good scenes today. The Todd and Car Carly, Todd and Connie scene. When Todd was on the phone with Star, he faked that heart attack. Todd had me rolling today. Todd had me on the damn floor when he was faking that heart attack. That sound, and, and a lot of people were like, why was, why was it on Twitter saying, why would you fake a heart attack? Hell, it's Todd, man. Just, just um, look at some old One Life to Live episodes and see, this that ain't nothing with Todd. When Todd, man, he, he actually did fake DID. Because I remember when I was watching One Life to Live back in the day, he faked having DID in the past. But anyway, but Todd had me rolling. Um... Because Johnny was this close to telling Star he that she killed Colin Hope, she he was this close to telling her. But anyway, I knew he wasn't gonna tell her. But at the end of today's episode, he was this close to telling. He was trying, gonna tell Carly, but um, out of nowhere, Connie comes up and busts him upside the head with a glass, with a glass, and <clears throat> you know what would have been funny? Well, I know this wouldn't happen because it's TV. If somebody would, if Todd, like somebody like Todd would have ran in and said, "Johnny, you got knocked the fuck out," like on that movie Friday. Anybody ever seen that old '90s movie Friday with um, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker in it? Um, that would have been hilarious if somebody said, "Johnny, you got knocked the fuck out." But anyway, that that would just been to me that would have been funny. But anyway, um, I wonder if Connie's actually gonna go through a kill. I wonder if she's gonna kill, try to really try to kill Johnny because Todd was saying something like, um, "We should get rid." Of, I think we need to do. You know, we need to do to um, keep keep Johnny quiet, keep him quiet. And I don't know if Todd was in you know. Um, was basically interpreting was basically saying that they should kill him but hey i don't i mean 
I like, I mean, Brandon Barry actually plays Johnny as a decent actor, but I've been hearing some rumors, like, like a while back I was hearing rumors that he may be out, but he, as those rumors turned to be false, but anyway, um, speaking of actors, act people being out, there's been a big rumor that talking about, that people were talking about that, um, Rebecca Hurst, who plays Elizabeth, is out, and she actually went on, and she tweeted, she, um, shut down those rumors on her Twitter page and said, I have not been let go from GH, and she, and there was also rumors that she had quit. And she shut down those rumors saying that she didn't quit. She hadn't been she hasn't been fired, but but she doesn't that, that she doesn't know and she isn't still on the show. But I, I don't know where those rumors came from. Cause people I think that came from when people were talking about um uh, well Scott Reeves announced that he was leaving. Um excuse me. He knew it, um but when Scott Reeves was um was I'm saying that he was leaving. But anyway, because we know Elizabeth and Steve are brother and sister. I think that's where all that came from. <clears throat> anyway, but anyway, I, that's about really all I got for today's episode. Um, apparently, I think General, the cast of General Hospital, had a Christmas party last night, and I, there's like a, a whole bunch of Instagram pictures and pi- pi- pictures on Twitter, basically. So, um, if you guys, I'll say, instant, uh, well, recommend some of you guys check out some of those pictures. Um, and also, I got some news. Um, Wally Kurth, who plays Ned, he's actually he's back on General Hospital. He's back filming scenes with General Hospital. So does that let me? That lets me want most me answer this question. Is he still on Days of Our Lives as Justin? As Justin Kiriakis? I mean, I know he plays um Sunday's dad, Justin, um on um Days of Our Lives. But um since he's back on General Hospital now, cause um I'm sorry I had to scratch my nose. Anyway, um is he back on General Hospital as Ned? I mean, I like him as Ned. I like Ned on General Hospital. But anyway, this is what I want to know is is Wally Kerr's back on? I know he's back shooting now. He's back filming scenes now. But um. What I want to know is, is um, is he still on Days of Our Lives? So he's gonna like try to do both of them because I know he's back, and I think they just need to Jim GH need to bring him back full time because Justin isn't really being used on um Days of Our Lives. But anyway, and I haven't really been caught up with Days of Our Lives. I haven't watched it in like a couple of months. But anyway, um, that's what all I got for today's episode. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Um, let me know what you guys thought about today's episode. If I left anything out, leave me a comment, and I'll. Tell you guys what I thought about those certain with certain things. Oh, I, I know what I left out, but I wanted to touch on Ellie and Spinelli. Spinelli was over there basically trying to spit. It seemed like he was spitting game, basically big and like he sweat to get Ellie back. And she um took him back basically. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Leave me a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Subscribe. Anyway, this is um Dominic checking out. Peace. God bless. And I'm out.